Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about tool chain set comparison where we basically discuss about what are the tools which we were using in the earlier days of SharePoint custom development and for now, what are the tools which we are using for SPFX development. So let's look into this diagram. So guys, in the early days of development, the tool chain for SharePoint solution development is completely different compared to SPFX development. In the early days, we were using for framework, we were using using dotnet framework but for spfx we are using node.js this is about the framework now for the packaging in the early days we were using nuget package manager and for spfx we are using npm package manager now discuss about the code editor in the earlier days we were using visual studio there are various version of visual studio like visual studio 2010 visual studio 2012 so all these visual studio is being used for sharepoint code writing but for spfx we are mainly using visual studio code for the earlier development the boilerplate code is being provided by visual studio for sharepoint custom development for spfx who will provide us the boilerplate code then the answer is it's yeoman so yeoman is a tool which help us to generate the or say boilerplate code for our spfx project that we will see in the upcoming sessions now coming to the most important thing that which language is being used earlier for sharepoint solution development then i would say that it was c sharp and how about today's in for the spfx we are using typescripts for writing the code spfx solution now let's move further and let's discuss about the now let's discuss about the build aspect earlier we were using ms build and now for spfx we are using the gulp build so guys gulp is an utility which is being used to build the solution in spfx tool is also used to transpile the typescript code to javascript code gulp utility is also used to bundle our project solution and it is also used to generate the spp package is the end output of spfx solution and that spp package need to be deployed at sharepoint online you can also deploy that spp package on sharepoint on premise but your sharepoint on premise must have version of sharepoint 2016 or sharepoint 2019 so guys this is about the tool comparison if in case you are not able to understand any of these don't worry we are going to use it currently in the upcoming sessions where we will use node.js npm visual studio code yeoman generator type scripts gulp very frequently so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care